Okay, so here we are. This is the marquee for Kingston Moorwood show. Uh, as you can see, we're a bit damp in here. It did rain yesterday, but as you see, we are the floor's pretty well saturated, so we've got to slip on there. Check this out. The ceiling is wet, which means that the sides are wet. And then, of course, water is still dripping and the tables are saturated. We have wet chairs. Um, but this is my table. Um, yeah, the whole place is leaking, so we have a few questions here on how I can display. Yeah, I'm a bit upset, so not the best start to my first two-day exhibit. We'll see what we can do. It's the tent I'm in. Everyone's set up and we're happily rearing away. So we've got traditional crafts, apples, foods, even doggy treats under there. Just gives you a general idea of what we're up. Um, quite a lot of the stuff still covered because we do still have the dripping problem. We've got yummy brownies. Check out those brownies. Remember your diet. We've got wines. Beautiful, beautiful looking cheeses. Nice on fries. Chutneys? Yeah. A bigger percentage of these. More beautiful ones. We've got gin. Just beautiful bottles. <laughs> and then we've got the absolutely delectable sweeties. Check out the colours. And a great thing, we have a lovely, lovely sneeze guard as well, which we do always love. And over here, some beautiful woodwork. That's the outer ring. And then the inner ring, we've got beautiful fabrics. Coasters. Towels. Covers. As you can see, we've really got some amazing talent here today. Beautiful slice and uh, platter products. Extremely nommy crisps. Nom nom nom. And look, we've got gnomes. It's true, there are gnomes. Outstanding colourfuls on the fabrics and beautiful <laughs> products. Everyone here has really made a beautiful effort. And we've got lovely, lovely scenty bits, those diffusers. Some more fabrics, I'm just going around this one. Um, yep, I'll have to check with a bucket. Oops. Oh, more lovely biscuits. The hero of the day with the bucket. <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> and beautiful towels and fabrics. And then this store, I've got to show you the store. It's absolutely beautiful. All lovely pendants and gifts, and that is by Only Fools and Flutter Boys. Great neighbour as well. And then we have ceramics. The question is, is it a vase, a vase or a vase? Um, and then you've got woodwork, including bags and other gifts. So overall, we've got some beautiful products here today. And these are all the people that I've spent the day with. I want to check out, check out these I know as a kid I never wore them, but pretty dresses with foxies. So there you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the stall at Kingston Millwood uh, show. The reason for the plastic bags is because the roof is still leaking, um, and sadly I can't have uh, the stuff damaged. I've not been able to display my drawings or some of the artwork because of the drip problem. We're hoping this will be resolved as it gets warmer, um, just to give you an idea of how drippy drippy it is. Um, you can see the water drips on there, and it's, it's pretty much raining in here. Um, I have had some damage done to the products, but we're going to have to lump it, but yeah. So here's the table, and that's Mum, say hi Mum. And that's Mum. <laughs> so here you go, so we'll hopefully film later on today and go from there. Here we are, day two at Kingston Moorwood. 
The sun is shining, the birds are tweeting, and the grass is very nice and green. So fingers crossed we're going to have a good day for sales. While we're here we'll just have a quick look at the site. Just quick peep at one of the gardens. Uh, I think this is where a lot of people get their wedding photos done. Ornamental pond, bench and some very nice trees. It's a lovely site, I'll give them that. At Kingston Moorwood, uh, it's a college for uh, lots of things, including animal husbandry and such. And then you've got a little park for the animals and such. And you've got the gardens and the house itself, which are all historical. And that's one of the other avenues. There's a lot of stairs around here. So nice walks, a lot of yew hedging. And beautifully planted flower beds. As you can see. Of course being autumn, all the colours are very different to what they might be. Eye shadow. There we go, and it's all formally planted. Exotics and native trees. So on to the event. Um, so there's one of the nice big lakes. Don't know if it's got any fishies in it. Does fun has candy geese. And that goes all the way around to over there. And there's a edge of our marquee. That's where we're heading. So here we are, day two. I had heaters in overnight, so it's a lot drier. Well, as dry as you can be. Still a bit of condensation going onto the tables. Here's mine because we bought our stuff in already. So fingers crossed, let's get packing. Or unpacking. As you can see, it's a really packed tent. It's getting rather creepy around here. The bloke in front keeps on staring over here, but he's giving him heebie jeebies. He's gone. Who was he? What was he? And why was he staring? I mean, they'll never know. But he stood here for a good 20 minutes just staring at me. Maybe he's an Amara. I should be so lucky with a rubber ducky. Right, this is a food hall and it's very busy, so I'm not going to get much footage, okay? You can see how busy the event is today. Really good turnout as well. 90% local products. These. Check out these. Are they not delectable? Now this is what you call real British quality bacon. Don't you just want a slice of that? I know I do. As you can see, we've got everything from sausage, condiments, oils, and very fancy fancy holders. We've got gluten free. Squeeze through the crowd because it is absolutely busy. We've got beautiful chutneys. We've got hot stuff. We've got cakes. Pies. And I will say, eyes on the pies. Beautiful oils. <laughs> So a bit of you, it's due to the fact I'm a very small person. We've got demonstrators of knife sharpening. Yes. We all know how to sharpen knife now. And fudge. Mm. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that. Check out the quality of that. Is that not just delectable, gorgeous and yum? I think so. Hello there. Some expert shopping. How are we doing there? Alright. Yeah. Admiring the quality of your beautiful product. Mm. That is awesome fudge. Would I be able to take this as card, please? Um, there you go. Awesome, thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> okay. So much for my diet, people. So much for the diet. So, yeah, that is the basic food hall. There is more to this place, but I'm not going to go to the hall. So, local people supporting the local. So there we have it everyone. The event at the end of the day was a good event. 
Uh, I did make back my table cost, which was the aim of the whole thing. Would I do it again? Uh, jury's out on that. I'm not 100% sure if I would. Um, depends really on next year, the cost of the table and other factors. But overall, I found it a really big experience. I feel I've learned a lot, come away from it a lot wiser. And I've met a lot of new contacts and hopefully new friends. So we will see. But thank you for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.